Good morning, everyone, and thank you for being here today. My name is Greg Northey. I'm the president of the Canadian Agri-Food Trade Alliance, which represents Canada's largest agri-food exporters. I'm also vice president of Pulse Canada, the national voice of Canada's pulse sector. I'm here alongside agri-food producers from across the country, all united to sound the alarm on a piece of legislation that poses serious threat to our industry, our economy, and Canada's place as a reliable global trading partner. Bill C-282 is not just another private member's bill. If passed, it would restrict Canada's flexibility in trade negotiations, directly impacting our ability to compete globally. Canada is the eighth largest agri-food exporter in the world, relying on open access to over 150 international markets to succeed. 90% of Can Canadian farmers rely on trade to make a living. In addition, over half of our agricultural products are exported, meaning trade isn't optional, it's essential. This bill puts those critical trade ties in jeopardy and creates an uncertain future for Canadian farmers and the thousands of communities that depend on it. The economic impact would be real. Our, our agri-food sector contributes nearly $93 billion annually to the Canadian economy, supporting over 2 million jobs. These are jobs not only in rural areas, but in cities and towns across the country, touching every region and supporting countless families. If Bill C-282 passes, it would severely limit Canada's ability to negotiate trade agreements that open new markets and protect existing ones. This would weaken our export market access, putting these jobs, our economy, and global food security at risk. Today, we're not just talking about numbers and policy, though. We're talking about real people, our farmers, processors, and exporters, who work tirelessly to put Canadian products on tables around the world. At this time, I'd like to invite a few of these producers who have come here to share their perspectives and experiences on why trade matters to them and the communities they, they support. I'd first like to call Tyler Fulton from the Canadian Cattle Association to give some remarks. <coughs> Good morning. Uh, thanks all for uh, joining us today. My name is Tyler Fulton. I'm the Vice President of Canadian Cattle Association and I'm here on behalf of 60,000 beef producers and ranchers, and ranchers. Together with my wife and kids, we run a third generation beef farm just south of Bertle, Manitoba. Like so many other family farms, we were proud to produce high quality Canadian beef uh, using sustainable, environmentally responsible practices. Canada's beef sector contributes a substantial $21.8 billion to our GDP, creating nearly 350,000 full-time jobs across the industry. We are vital to Canada's rural communities and are a key driver in the overall uh, economy. I'm proud to say that my work as a farmer contributes to food security for my local community Canada and the world. <clears throat> for Canadian beef f producers to thrive, we need strong, ambitious trade agreements that provide secure access to international markets. Bill C-282, however, threatens that access. It places unprecedented restrictions on our trade negotiators, a move that no other country has taken. At its core, Bill C-282 is bad trade policy. If passed, it will harm every Canadian industry that's dependent on trade. By imposing limits on our negotiators, this bill shuts the door on future opportunities, stifling economic growth across Canada's trade, sector, uh, trade sectors and weakening our position in global markets. The Kuzma review is just around the corner, and we can't afford to be naive. Both presidential candidates have made it clear this will not be a negotiation. Or sorry, this will be a negotiation. It's not just a review. Bill C-282 would jeopardize Canada's effectiveness to secure a strong deal. <clears throat> Trade is not a political game. For me and thousands of farmers like me, this is our livelihood. Canada needs to protect open trade practices, especially in these uncertain times. Now, more than ever, Bill C-282 is driven by politics, and we will uh, need to work together to stand up for Canada's economy. 
protectionist measures like C282 are not the answer. They put our industry and Canada's economy at unnecessary risk. I'm calling on all senators to put the interests of, Canadian, of the Canadian economy first and vote down Bill C-282. I'd like to pass it over to my friend Ernie. Thank you, Tyler, and uh, welcome everyone to, to our uh, press conference this morning. My name is Ernie Sersky, and I'm representing the uh, Soy Canada National Value Chain Organization, representing the entire soybean industry. I'm also on the board of directors of the Manitoba Pulse and Soybean Growers, and I farm along with my family at Dauphin, Manitoba, about three and a half hours northwest of Winnipeg. I can proudly say that I have grow soybeans the furthest north in Canada, north of the 51st parallel. <clears throat> Together with my family, we farm over 6,000 acres growing wheat, fall rye, canola, soybeans, and pedigree grass seed. I would like to highlight how trade, international trade, impacts my farm and especially pertaining to soybeans. You've heard about Bill C-282 and how that might impact our trade going forward. Soybeans have been an integral part of our farm for over 10 years. The, ex the, the success of soybeans and their value can only be attributed to one thing, and that's trade. Over 70% of my soybeans, our soybeans, are exported annually. Just two years ago, we started a new soybean venture. It's called Identity Preserved Soybeans, ones that are now used in the food sector, something that's quite new into Western Canada. Today, Canada produces over 7 million tons of soybeans, and the value of those soybeans adds about $3.5 billion to the $92 billion of agri-food and agri-products exports, leaving Canada every year. Without trade and exports, my soybean values would come down considerably. Consider 70% of my soybeans go offshore or out of the country every year. We must continue to implement and negotiate trade agreements that benefit all Canadian farmers. The value of my soybeans along with other products that we produce on our farm depends on it. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you, Ernie and Tyler. Um, and thank you for sharing your stories about how important trade is. I just want to remind everyone that their voices reflect the strength, resilience, and importance of Canadian agriculture who are focused on export markets. In support of these efforts, uh, CAFTA has launched keepcanadatrading.ca, a new platform allowing Canadians to send letters directly to senators and other political individuals, urging them to reject Bill C-282. Canadian jobs, our economic future, and our role as a global trade leader are on the line. This bill must be stopped to protect open trade policies that fuel our country's transparency. Canada's agri-food producers call on senators to safeguard Canada's economic future and reject Bill C-282. Thank you all for being here and for supporting a strong, competitive and globally connected Canada. We are open for questions in both French and English. Thank you. Um, Hunter, Lobby Monitor. Um, how else are you getting this message out besides the new website and press conferences like this? Yeah, so uh, CAFTA and many of our organizations, the member organizations, have been witnesses at the Senate committee that's studying the bill. Uh, we've also had many meetings with senators, in addition to MPs and uh, ministers across Ottawa. Our opposition to this bill, this bill has been around for, for quite a few months, and so um, we've been uh, actively lobbying on this bill for close to a year uh, with, with a variety of individuals. And um, when is your Hill Day, and will this be a key policy issue you're talking about during it? Yeah, so there, the CAFTA members, whether it's cattle or soy, have Hill Days planned, uh, canola, et cetera, Hill Days planned over the next several weeks, in, in fact. And so uh, each one of those uh, organizations uh, will be raising Bill C-282 C with uh, who they meet with. Thanks. like to add to your statement? Um, no, just we would really appreciate folks to check out uh, the, the website we've just launched. Uh, it's, we feel it's a very important issue. Um, 
as you've all heard, the bill is, uh, is incredibly problematic for, for Canada and our position globally. And so um, really appreciate everyone for um, asking, asking the questions and, and for uh, supporting our uh, opposition to Bill 282.